You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, you could probably say that and be safe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So anyway, what I'm thinking now, this is a rock tune, right? Which gives you a little bit more versatility because it's... it's For one thing, um, you could even do like... You could even get away with a major third in there. Even though it ends on this which is obviously built off of the minor third. You know, and you got your flat five. In fact, I should have gone just to prove my point, you know. Basically, when you really start to expand this way with all the different possibilities, you go, well, I can do, I can do the root, obviously. I could do a nine, because that works on any minor mode. I could do the, I have to do minor third. If I'm thinking blues, I could bend it up, but that may be a little risky, maybe not. Then the fourth, the flat five is blues. The fifth, flat sixth, or just, you know, the, the flat six is the alien. Raised sixth is Dorian. Then the flat seven, that's a chord tone. Then a major seven, which would be a, a melodic minor or harmonic minor. And then the root. The only note we didn't play w was. Well, the major third, which may be iffy, um, or the um, the flat nine. Then you go, well, wait, Phrygian's a minor mode. It's got a flat nine. So does Locrian, and Locrian has a flat five, which is where the blues thing is. So you could add that to if you wanted. You know, and who does? That classic Steve Ray Vaughan lick, he plays that. The most outside note you could think of. But because he does it like so quickly, he just, hey, goodbye, you know? So basically, then what notes we have are these. All of them, you know? Yeah. And so what'll kind of, what'll kind of be important then is that one, we don't play like that, right? Um, and similarly, that we don't play as random or mixed I mean, it's not random, that's a chromatic scale, but uh, we, as, as mixed as, as, as where it's a mud, which would be maybe, unless it's so, you can, if you do it so quick, it'll happen in such a small amount of time that it'll just, it'll, it'll, it'll basically be the equivalent of a quarter note and not the equivalent of 20 notes, even if you fit 20 notes somehow into a quarter note. People with such a small time, people will perceive it as a flurry of things that happened in a short period of time. And they only recognize that short period of time they don't recognize those tiny, tiny, tiny little notes, and so you can you can do this. You can create the mud in a in a moment, uh, depending if you're fast enough. But what I mean to say though is, what you generally want to avoid is doing the same thing in this kind of way, where you go like I don't think I can even do it. You just like sound like one of those guys who's trying to pretend he knows how to play jazz, you know, and so. But he's still, he's still playing the right notes, you know? I mean, the right notes. So what happens in his phrasing, and if you give him a phrase in one sort of scale, which is more or less coherent to, to people, even if they don't know what the scale is and all that, if you give it to him in one scale, you're going to give him a flavor, and then you can change it to another flavor and another flavor and another flavor, but it's not just like blending up your pizza and your and your milkshake and your Cheerios and your grass root healthy protein shake and blend it all into one thing, you know? So instead you want to play like little phrases like, um, you know, maybe you play like, uh, just start off with the pentine and then you stop. I'm only playing two notes. Now I'm messing around with the blues pentonic. I got the flat five in there. Then maybe I want to get a major seven. Uh. Then 
now to give them a flat seven to bring them back where they were. Maybe we'll go to a six. Then maybe a minor six. So I get the I had the six in there and the minor six. Oh, well that was a nine in my bed. So a six and the minor six. But if I put them back to back, it'll just sound like this. You know? Or and I want to avoid that, so maybe I'll give them one, maybe like the six, would be like. You know what I play? And then maybe I go. You know? And what I did there was I was giving the minor six, the flat six, I should say. I went down to the flat five. You know, and then I descended down. I did the major seven, which means I've got a minor six. I should say a flat six, and the minor. Uh, sorry, and a major seven. I got a major seven and a flat six, and so that what I did there is um, around the harmonic minor scale. The last time I did it, I did a little hammer on pull off to the major third, even if I'm a minor chord. Just like Steve Ray Vaughan did with the, you know, I did here with the, with the major third. That's diminished. Maybe the major six. And then maybe, you know, which I did the minor. Yeah. Which is clearly, it's so good that we're doing this. You know? We can get away with that kind of stuff. So there's just some information of, of how you can go about thinking about it. You can think about changing between your shapes. You can think about, I'm just going to play inside and, oh, I know I can do that, ma my, that major seven. And when you reach out to major seven, you are essentially playing one of the two, harmonic minor or melodic minor. Um, but, uh, but yeah, do you have any questions about those?